Hello everyone and welcome to another Monster in a World video. Today I'm going to show you a fast method for farming Zenashiva horns. The main reason we have to farm for Zenashiva horns is because not only will you need five of them for each of the Zenashiva armor sets, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, but you're also going to need three Zenashiva horns every time you want to craft one of the Lunastra Styx weapons. And since there are 14 different weapon classes, that means you would need 42 Zenashiva horns to craft all of the Styx weapons, and an additional 15 horns to craft all of the Zenashiva armor, for a total of about 57 Zenashiva horns. On top of that, the horns don't actually drop very often. You'll notice gems have a 1 star frequency, which is pretty normal, gems are considered rare. And the horns actually only have a 2 star frequency, which is also a very rare drop rate. So this guide is basically going to show you the fastest method for gathering these rare Zenashiva horns. Let's get started. Okay, so the primary method for farming these horns is to break his head, and then quit the quest right afterwards. When you break parts on a monster, even if the quest fails or you end it short by quitting, the game still rewards you for those part breaks. This is true for Zenajiva as well. So your goal is to get into the quest, break Zenajiva's head, and then leave. However, the tricky part to this is that you can't just start up a Zenajiva quest whenever you want to unless the Keeper of the Otherworld event quest is available that week. So what I'm saying is, if you want to farm Zenashiva Horns, it's especially important to keep track of when that event quest is going to be made available, and is typically always available during the seasonal events. Your other option is to just join a group of randoms, and then what I recommend in that case is, don't quit on them, that wouldn't be very courteous of you, stay in the match, break Zenashiva's head, and, and wait for the rewards at the end. But that's if you badly need a horn and the seasonal event is not available. Uh, let's say once the Keeper of the Otherworld event quest is available, the next step is being able to quickly break Zenashiva's head. So here's a slice ammo part breaker build that I'm going to recommend. You're basically just going to shoot Zenashiva in the head over and over again until it breaks. You'll know it's broken when one of the horns has a big chunk missing. I've also brought the plunder blades on my palico in case he manages to steal a gem, or maybe even another horn if that's possible, but so far my palico hasn't been able to do that so I'm not sure if he can. It's probably possible, it's probably just very rare. There is one more thing I want to mention. You can break Zenashiva's head really, really quickly if you just manage to drop two of the falling boulders on him. I like to kite him over and quickly drop the boulder a bit early so that it hits the top of his head rather than his wings. One of the tricks I use is to watch when he's going to use the running charge attack. That's a terrific time to drop the boulder. Wait for him to start running forward. And about when he's halfway there, halfway, that's when you shoot the boulder because when he arrives, at that point the boulder will hit him. Uh, doing this twice will typically break his head and then you can quit right afterwards to try for the horn reward. So if you learn to drop the boulders on Zenashiva's head properly, you can actually farm the horns extremely quickly. If you run out of boulders without breaking his head, then at that point you can just switch over to using the slice ammo. There is one last thing I want to mention. Because the horns are considered kind of rare, you won't be rewarded with them every time you quit the match. For me, they showed up probably less than 50% of the time, so you might have to break his head even three times to just get one horn. So now you know you won't be rewarded a horn every single time you break his head and then leave. Alright, and now you know how to farm Zenashiva horns. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.